off suits per procedure 4.012. Nominal departure and 4012 for uh, Dragon. And we just had confirmation there that that second departure burn, known as Depart Burn 1, has completed and it was executed as expected. The crew is now going to start doffing or removing their spacesuits and getting settled in for their 22 and a half hour journey back to Earth again with that splashdown targeted for tomorrow morning, July 15th, off the coast of California. And as a reminder, just like during its approach to the International Space Station, Dragon's departure and deorbit is designed to be fully autonomous, requiring no action from the crew on board. However, unlike Dragon's arrival, there are no hold points during the departure sequence. Therefore, it takes a lot less time to leave the vicinity of the space station than to arrive. So we just had confirmation of that second departure burn being completed. And that is the second in a series of four. However, it's the only the only one that was left within the vicinity of the space station. The next departure burn will take place about 45 minutes from now after Dragon is well on its way back to Earth and outside of the approach ellipsoid. Dragon is now about 195 meters away from the International Space Station. and should be crossing the keep-out sphere momentarily. Three meters away from the International Space Station and continuing to increase that distance. And teams on the ground will continue to monitor the weather ahead of a splashdown tomorrow, Tuesday, July 15th at 5.31 a.m. Eastern off the coast of California. After Dragon exits the approach ellipsoid, there will be a couple of more departure burns and phasing burns to set the spacecraft up for the correct phasing and location for splashdown. And for those of you who are just joining us, the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft carrying the Axiom Mission 4 crew recently undocked from the International Space Station's Harmony Module at 6.15 a.m. Central, 7.15 a.m. Eastern to complete an 18-day stay aboard the orbiting laboratory. Station Houston on the big loop. Johnny, please give Huntsville a call on Space to Ground 4. Dragon lifted off atop a Falcon 9 rocket on Wednesday, June 25th from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida and docked to the space-facing port of the International Space Station's Harmony Module after a 28-hour journey on Thursday, June 26th. During their stay aboard the International Space Station, the Axiom Mission 4 crew conducted more than 60 experiments, and they will now be returning to Earth with more than 580 pounds of science and hardware. This was the fourth private astronaut mission to the International State Space Station enabled by NASA. And while Dragon and the Axiom Mission 4 crew continue their departure from station, and as we stand by for the approach ellipsoid exit in just under 10 minutes from now, let's go ahead and check back in with Jesse and John in Hawthorne. Thanks, Anna. We've got some great live views here. Previously, we didn't have any live views because we had a loss of signal, which is normal as we are passing by several ground stations. We're now uh, passing over a ground station where we do have acquisition of signal and getting these great live views. Also, in your bottom right-hand corner, you can follow along with this new graphic and see the thrusters firing on Dragon on the forward bulkhead, as well as the telemetry in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, as we mentioned earlier, Dragon is fully autonomous, which means it's capable of flying itself. Dragon was designed from the beginning for flying humans to space, even though its first missions carried only cargo. Now, before we could fly humans, our teams implemented a number of design upgrades to make sure that both Dragon and Falcon 9 are suitable for flying people, and then put both vehicles through thousands of tests to prove their safety. Now, prior to the Axiom Mission 4, SpaceX successfully completed 52 flights of Dragon to and from orbit since 2010, including 47 trips to the International Space Station. AX-4 is SpaceX's 18th human spaceflight mission, and before Axiom Mission 4, SpaceX had flown 66 crew members, meaning that this mission brings that count to 70. That's incredible. 
Now, missions like this are important milestones for everyone involved, from the crew members who fly to those that they represent, and to the host of scientists and engineers around the world who have an opportunity for their research or their technology to be tested in microgravity. Everyone learns from these missions. And for Axiom Space, this is at the heart of why we do these missions. We are building opportunities for others to advance what is possible and expand what is known. We want to enable every human everywhere to take part in this. Now, after a beautiful launch on June 25th, the AX4 crew docked with the International Space Station a little over a day later, opening the hatch and greeting the Expedition 73 crew on June 26th. The crew shared some good words and a welcoming ceremony before quickly getting to work on their extensive itinerary. Now, each crew member brought with them a host of research, technology demonstrations, and outreach objectives, ranging from human physiology to space radiation impact studies, and even some gardening. Now, this crew maintained a very full timeline, but they prepared for this. Each crew, wanted, each crew member wanted to ensure that every minute of this mission was utilized well and that all objectives were hit. So Peggy, Shooks, Suave, and Tibor were ready to work. And over the course of 18 days on board the station, they accomplished over 60 research activities as well as more than 20 outreach events. And as their time on station came to a close, the AX4 crew participated in a brief farewell ceremony where they said their goodbyes to the Expedition 73 crew. Now, for more details on the incredible work performed by this crew on orbit, check out axiomspace.com. Now, at this time, the crew is getting closer to reaching...